tutorial in a while. Today I'm going to show you guys flex fitting in Logic. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you still use 9. I mean, I'm not going to get 10 for a while, if ever. I looked at it, played around with it, and uh, it really doesn't offer anything I need right now. Um, so I'm not going to get it. So if you're still using 9, um, I'm posting a lot of tutorials. I'm going to start doing these a little bit more regularly. But anyway, so FlexFit is good for matching up any audio. Uh, you know, if you have in recorded uh, hardware synths or vocals or whatever else. So I'll just show you what I'm working with and what I'm going to do here. Mm. So I have these chords that were played in, and so they are audio, and I can't remember if I already flexed them or if they were good to go. I think we ended up, I might have rebounced them. Either way, I have those, and then I have these other chords that I add in later that are meant to be sort of a harpy, sort of, uh, you know, hit all the notes at a different time. And so you see, they're a little off, but that's almost sort of, sort of how they're supposed to be. But I want to make them a little different, so I'm going to use Flex. So all you do is you select the track, and you come up here, and you click Flex. It's in the top. And I'm going to use Polyphonic. So it analyzes that clip, and then once it's done, it'll give you these markers. Go ahead and zoom in so you can see what's going on. And they're all sort of grayed out at the start, um, because it's not going to be using any of them until you tell it to. So I want this to hit early, and I want the, the meat of it to, uh, to line up with the hit here. So what I have to do too is I want to make sure that whatever I do to this chord isn't going to affect the one behind it. So you'll normally start with the first one. Um, I'll put a drop point right on, looks like that's right where it hits, and drag out the beginning of this clip. Um, that's going to move everything. Um, it's just going to give me some space. So. Once I grab, you know, set two points and then move, see it's going to flex it. Um, and so I want this, I want this to hit the beginning, and I want just a little bit of um, what's that called, an upbeat before it hits. And I'm going to do the same thing to all of these. I'm going to mark the beginning and sort of what is the main hit. So I'm going to drag that a little bit forward. And you don't want to move anything too far, because then it starts to sound really weird. You'll get used to what it really takes. And we can see that we can make this note hit right on it if we want to, so that it's right on the quarters. Um, and this second note here is right now in between quarters. We can move that. And let's take this and move this down. So hopefully this doesn't end up sounding too weird, but we'll see. That's this is probably going to be fine. This last one we might want to actually make that long. Okay. Now I'm going to actually, I'm going to set a point and drag out the tail a little bit on this one as well. Okay, let's see what this sounds like.
So yeah, that's, so I lined up, you know, the main hit on each of them, so that sounds a lot better than what it did before. I wonder if there's a way to compare. I guess you can go back and listen to how it was when I first hit them. So this works really good for vocals. If you have two singers trying to sing the same thing and one person's a little earlier, um, flex fit is great for that. Um, you can extend tails. You don't want to do stuff that's too drastic. That was probably the maximum you'll want to move anything. Um, and I think that sounds pretty good. So I'm going to stick with that. And uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comment box.